Well, and the district, like many cities, is facing a huge budget shortfall in the coming years, in part due to the number of empty offices we've got around here since so many of us are working from home still. But it's part of an effort to revitalize downtown and could convert empty offices into residential neighborhoods. Mayor Bowser announced millions of dollars in grants to jumpstart a reimagination of downtown. News Force Mark Seagraves has our report. The district government is facing a nearly $500 million budget shortfall over the next several years. One big reason, the growing number of empty offices in downtown that are no longer providing tax revenue. Mayor Bowser has been promoting a move to convert those empty offices to residential units, and now she's launching an effort to make living downtown more attractive to families. The district is offering $7.5 million in grants for organizations to develop outdoor space downtown. These could be new community gathering spaces, performances or creative spaces, outdoor games or music infrastructure. And the district will be promoting more entertainment options, starting with the Jazz and Bloom concert series at Union Station. We will get the vibrancy that we miss in some places back with a partnership with music and entertainment. In his financial forecast, the district's chief financial officer warned the impact of work from home poses a, quote, serious long-term risk to the district's economy and its tax base. Bowser hopes to attract 15,000 new residents to downtown over the next five years. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Mayor Bowser says that she hopes to be able to partner with the federal government on a plan to use much of the federal government's office space that is no longer being used full-time around here.